Is their online therapy session almost done? I can hear them crying again. I mean, I stay far enough away so they have privacy. It just breaks my heart to hear them in pain like that. It is working though. They have these hard sessions, but then after a day to process, they're lighter, happier. And there are more of those days than the bad ones now, so it's worth it. Doesn't make the process any easier, though. Hey, baby, I was just heading to the kitchen. Our... Oh, honey. Come here. Let me hold you. Shh, I've got you. I'm right here, baby. No, that's okay. You cry as much as you need to. I wasn't listening in, but I could hear you crying a bit. That... Mm, that was a tough one, wasn't it? I know. I know. That's okay. Shh, no. What do you need, baby? You want to go back into the bedroom and I can hold you? Couch? Kitchen? Yeah, I can pour you some tea or scoop up some ice cream. Whatever you need. Couch? Of course, sweetheart. Just a few steps this way. Ah, there. I'll keep my arms wrapped tightly around you until you tell me to stop. That's it. Let it out. You're doing so well. Did you want to talk about it? It's fine if you don't. That's okay. I'm, I'm right here. No matter what. I know you're exhausted, baby. I know going through this takes so much out of you. Do you... Do you need me to make you some food? Oh, I, I'd be happy to. Do you want anything special? Well, I just mean... Listen, if this starts coming out weird, then just tell me to shut up, okay? Okay. What I'm trying to say is that... When someone runs a marathon or when they get a promotion, there's a celebration, right? People cheer, congratulate them, give them a medal or a ribbon, have a party maybe... Or when someone recovers from injury or illness, there's recognition for that. An acknowledgement of the fight that was fought and the hard work that was done. But it's not like that with mental health. And there's lots of reasons for that. You, you may not want people to know, of course. But when you're battling with your mental health, when you overcome incredible obstacles pursue the help you need and put in the work there's no celebration there's no one cheering I mean you, you've been through a tsunami and come out the other side you climbed the mountain you ran the marathon you have worked so hard baby and I know there isn't always a clear cut finish line but you've made huge strides lately I've been cheering you on the whole way. I know how hard you've been working. It's, it's almost been a year now with this therapy. And baby, you have come so far. 
I can see the progress you're making every day. You've passed some major hurdles, healed some huge things, and, and in my opinion, that deserves to be celebrated. Hey, no, no. Having bad days doesn't mean you're failing or backsliding, nothing like that. Healing isn't linear, baby. You are doing amazingly well. I am so proud of you. Shh, listen. I mean it. Healing isn't a straight line. It's more like a circle. Wait, no. No, not a circle. Uh, a spiral. You start in the middle and start working your way outward. So, even though you might be circling through similar things, you're never in the same spot. You're still moving out from the center, away from whatever it was that started it. You're making progress. Mm -hmm. You don't need to worry about never going back to something that was bothering you before. And you certainly don't need to think that just because we're acknowledging it now means I'll judge you later if things get tough again. I'm going to be by your side, cheering you on no matter what. I know it's hard to see your own progress, but I can see the changes happening. Tomorrow, things will look a little brighter. And if they don't, Tell me, and we'll contact your therapist. We'll keep trying, baby, because you... You are more than worth it. And if you get too tired and just need to rest, that's okay, too. It's all right to pause and let that healing catch up with you. Let it sink in. I can't carry you on this journey, but I will support you every way I can. You amaze me with the progress you've made. And I'm so proud of you. I know it may sound strange, but... <laughs> I mean, if you want me to celebrate with you, you know, celebrate how far you've come and, and the victories you've achieved, then that's absolutely something we could do. Hmm, well, uh, I could make you something special for dinner, or we could order out. I mean, I'd be happy to take you somewhere if you like, but I'm guessing that's probably not what you want right now. <laughs> we can get ice cream, get you a cake, uh, marathon your favorite movies, we could shop online and buy you something special. Oh, sweetheart, shh. Don't say that. Don't say that you don't deserve it. You absolutely do. What you're doing and how you're recovering is amazing. So what if you don't want to go out? You wouldn't ask someone who just had foot surgery to go out dancing, would you? You have wounds that are actively healing. Just because they're not visible from the outside doesn't make them any less real. And it doesn't make your progress not worth celebrating. If you don't want to do any of that, that's completely fine. I just want to show you that this is real work. Real accomplishments. And if you want to celebrate them the way that we do other accomplishments, I'm more than happy to, baby. Yeah? You want to? <laughs> mm. I'm so glad to hear that. Well, what would you like to do? Sweetheart, you can ask me anything. You want me to make my special marble cake? Mm. Of course I can do that. What else, my liege? 
online game night with her friends. Mm, that sounds fantastic, baby. Why don't you start telling people, see who's around tonight. I'll start on the cake, and then we can talk about what to order for dinner. Because I'll already be taking up most of the kitchen making cake and frosting. Mm. I really am so proud of you. And I'm here to talk about whatever you need. But I'm glad tonight we get to celebrate. Because you deserve it. You're working so hard. And I see it. Mm. I love you, baby. <laughs>